Hey guys, happy dude here. Let's shoot some stuff. It's the most fun thing to do while in this lockdown and with this weather. I thought it would be fun to see just how powerful my new Don Wesson is. Well, you have seen the 6 inch version. Well, this is the 8 inch version. That's what she said. So with this version, the barrel is a bit longer. It's also powered with a CO2 capsule. It's also with this fake bullets where you put this four and a half millimeter steel BB in. And these weigh 0 0.30 grams. What's also different about this revolver is that this 8 inch version should have between 4 and 5 joule of energy and the 6 inch version is between 3 and 4. Alright, now let's take a closer look. It's very beautiful made. very solid and heavy it's a very impressive look uh, the handle is brown instead of black that's pretty rare it was the very last revolver in the store so I had to have it and to give you an idea just how powerful this 8 inch version of the Don Wesson is, I'm going to compare it against my two 1911s. This one uses 6mm BBs, also with CO2 power. And just to be fair, I'm also going to use 0 0.30 gram BBs. And this 1911, also with CO2, and also with 4.5 millimeter steel BBs like Don Wesson. The 1911 with plastic BBs should have one joule of energy and the steel BB version two joule. All right, let's lock and load. All right, the first test will be something soft, like this apple. The first gun will be this Colt 1911 with six millimeter plastic BBs. All right, it went in, but I don't think it will be very far. It went this deep. Next up, the Colt 1911 with steel BBs. Alright, so that one went this deep, so a bit further. Alright, now it's time for the Don Wesson. Jesus, that went clean through. Here is the entry. And here is the exit. As you can see, I'm not putting any force. It just went through. 
that's what he said. All right, next test. Some cans. First, the plastic BBs. So, one can. That's it. And now the steel BB. So one, one entry and exit, and the second one also entry and exit, and the third one a dent. All right, next up the Don Wesson. Okay, I replaced one of the cans because there were too many holes. So the first one here, entry of course, and exit here. Second one, entry and exit. And the third one, no entry but a huge dent. Okay, next up, some plastic bottles of water. First plastic BB. A small dent, but no entry. Next up, steel BB. Nope, no entry. Apparently, plastic is very strong. Next up, the Don Wesson. Oh yes, the water is coming out. And now this one millimeter thick aluminium plate and yes I am wearing protective goggles it looks about the same I think it went a little bit deeper You can't really see it on camera, but this one feels pointier from the Don Weston, so it went deeper. And now this glass jar. So no big explosion, unfortunately, but that's because this sticker is holding everything into place. But I can assure you, everything is shot to bits. And now the big finale. This 5mm thick tempered glass, so that's reinforced glass. As you can see, I'm not lying. Alright, 
First up, the plastic BBs. Next up, the steel BBs. All right, that was impressive. It took a few shots, but it did break. Luckily, I have another piece of glass. Now, let's try the Don Wesson. Jesus, only one shot. My God. This Don Weston 8 inch version is powerful. As you can see, completely shattered. And now I have some cleaning up to do. As you can see, the glass just flew everywhere. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a like and maybe subscribe for more. And of course, happy holidays and happy new year. And thanks for watching. Bye.